Welcome to day 756. I'm on my way to finish up the interior of the Ferrari in the M5. That's just such a beautiful hotel. We've got another pretty day right now, except there's quite a few clouds out there. And it's, uh, it's actually been a 40% chance of rain all morning. And uh, when we woke up, the sidewalks were wet, but they're not now. So I don't know what today's going to bring. There's something coming in out of Alaska. It's supposed to be cloudy all day, but hey, it's very nice now. It keeps up. Yep, so just the interior today with some Zeno. It, uh, it's going to smell really good. Both cars need a little bit of a coat, uh, the, probably the Ferrari more than the M5. They actually both have 22,000 miles on them. I drove both yesterday and noticed on the odometer they're both 22. That's kind of interesting consider, considering that one is eight years older than the other one. Everything is Zaynode inside, and uh, the Ferrari too. The mats are vacuumed. The inside of the windows are cleaned. We did a beautiful job. Looks superb. Got some, uh, some more Zeno stuff on the tires. Turning brakes. Look at these brakes. Beautiful, beautiful. The uh, halos are in. I'll show you the halos. That switch. Looking good. California. It's called California. Wow, Mercedes drivers. That's a new low. CTSV. But that looks better. These are the wrong shoes for this. But I made it. It's not a real M5. Look at the back bumper. Yeah. It's pimped. It's pimped. It's got bright blue halos, fake taillights, and blue around the BMW badge, and it's not a real M5. He's even got M5 badging on it. He has the wrong wheels. He got the right trim on the door, except it doesn't say M5 on it. That looks pretty gaudy. He does have the M5 badge in the grill, which was really only on the E24 M6. Good evening. I hope you can actually see. It seems pretty bright to me, but I've been out here walking around for a little bit. It's probably about 9 o'clock, maybe a few minutes after 9. Here on the West Coast, our last night in San Diego, we're still on Coronado at the Marriott over here. I just dropped my dad off at the apartment we had. Actually, we had our really late lunch at Alfonso's in La Jolla. That was excellent. I hadn't been there since um, June with Ken and we ate there like every four days when Ken and I were out here for two weeks in June. Um, so that was really good. It was supposed to rain and be cloudy pretty much all day today. And the rain didn't really come in until, I don't know, probably around 7 o'clock. It rained a little bit at 6, but most of the day was partly cloudy, partly sunny, and around 60 degrees. So not really any complaints, but it is raining a little bit right now. A little bit of mist. And it's so funny, if you turn the news on, they treat a somewhat rainy afternoon, evening, like uh, we would treat three feet of snow from an Alberta clipper in Ohio. It's ridiculous. They send the guys out with the fox cam and they're going around town filming the rain and they're like, look at that tree. Do you see the palm tree blowing around out here? Oh my God, it's raining. We have a special weather event. And my, um, my, the weather channel app on my iPhone dinged and gave me a weather event for San Diego that there could be showers in the area. And it's hilarious. I mean, their roads here aren't even capable of taking this. These roads are soaking wet. On the way home from my dad's apartment, there are a couple times when I felt the car hydroplane at 30 miles an hour with an eighth of an inch of rain in an hour. Um, I mean, they barely even have gutters and drainage systems here. The, the buildings, half the buildings don't have spoutings on them, so the, the rain just drips down into the landscaping and on the road and stuff. And, yeah, they drive in rain like we drive in three inches of untreated snow on untreated roads. So, 
headed back to the uh, hotel. I've got all my stuff folded up. I did a little shopping this afternoon in Express over um, Horton Plaza, downtown San Diego. Got some nice pants, a few nice shirts. So uh, that should be pretty nice business casual all the way, Class Year's Frig. Saw some nice cars today as usual. Really nice Ferrari California. I don't remember if I filmed that or not. It was a beautiful blue. I don't know if I've ever seen one in that blue before. It was uh, like the M5, but quite a bit darker and more metallic. It was gorgeous. So anyways, a really nice couple weeks here. My dad came out for Christmas. Um, it was really good to see him again. You know, it's been six months and then we hung out here for a week. We did a lot. We did a lot this trip. I feel like I've learned, you know, I've been out here to Southern California several times in the last few years, and every time I come, I learn my way around better. And this was really the first time when I haven't used GPSs and I just know where I'm going now. And it, it feels uh, feels really good to be back and know where I'm going. I did use a GPS once or twice to figure out how to get on the highway from downtown areas I'm not too familiar with, but it feels more like home every day, every, t every time I come here, so that's good news. So it's 2013 now, 2012. Well, I was in about 12 states, 13 states in 2012. I drove across the United States with my best friend, Kenan. That was probably the one of the, probably the best, definitely the best thing that I've ever done. And that was, that was amazing to go and hit those roads and the car like I was able to drive and come out here and help move my dad to San Diego. And that was really, really amazing. I'm very thankful for that. So 2012, we had, like Colt said, we had a lot of ups, we had a lot of downs, some stuff got dickered, but uh, that's all gonna rectify itself. <laughs> and uh, I look forward to the future. So uh, I don't really know what I'm talking about now. I'm just on my way back and I'm burning some time so I don't have to walk into the hotel in solitude. We've been here since the 30th, spent New Year's here. I haven't even been in my home state this year which is kind of odd, um, but we're going back tomorrow. The flight leaves at two out of San Diego. We're going through Dallas, Texas. We have 50 minutes on the ground in Dallas, so that's gonna be a pretty tight, um, what do you call that, pit stop. <laughs> Not the word I'm looking for, but that's gonna be a, a tight layover, I suppose, in Dallas, and then we get to Cleveland at 11.25 um, Eastern time, which will be like 8.25 body time. We're so accustomed to the East Coast or West Coast time now. But as I said, it's been a really excellent trip. I feel like we've done a lot in this week. We've been moving pretty much every minute of every day. And awesome breakfasts, a lot of good meals out, time with the family, beautiful time here. We, we, we just did a lot. You know, when we were here in June, it was, we did a lot then, but it was very relaxed. And we had a lot of days where we just sat by the pool and chilled out in the apartment and around the town. But today, this week, we've kind of been all over the place, up to San Clemente. We didn't get to hit LA this time. But I was up there in June, and that's, I, I love going there, that's a great place to travel, but I just don't think I could live there. San Diego's a lot more, I think, homey. It's a lot more, it's just a cleaner city to me. So 2013, we've got a couple things lined up on the table. Um, hopefully I'll be coming back out here, maybe with a good friend. Still working with that. Uh, I have now another semester to finish up my freshman year at Kent State. That starts January 14th, and I will be there, th be there through May 5th when I uh, wrap up classes for my second semester, and then I have off until uh, like September or August 28th or 26th or something like that, and then Kenan's coming to Kent State, so that's going to be excellent. Not looking forward to going home to 35 degrees and snow on the ground, but hey, I miss the M5. That needs to get out. Uh, I've driven some pretty amazing cars here though, and I'll definitely talk about how they feel in comparison to the E39 back when I'm home. But as I was saying, we've done so much this week, yet it feels like I've been here for, uh, for two or three weeks with the amount of stuff we've done and how we've been so busy. A week ago, what day's today? A week ago Sunday. A week ago was our first night here, and uh, where did we eat the first night? We ate at this place over by my dad's apartment called Islands, and that feels like it was two weeks ago. Usually when you say time is moving slowly, that's a bad thing. But this time it just feels like we've been here quite a while and done a lot and had a lot of fun. But part of me is ready to get back home to my own house, my own bed. Trust me, my Mac is not having fun. It's got a Final Cut Pro library of about 30 gigs of video, and it is slow. So I need my hard drive back to back all that up and get things back to efficiency and get the car out again and stuff like that. So 
It's actually supposed to warm up a little bit in Ohio uh, by the end of next week, up into the 50s. So that'll get rid of snow, and it will actually be about the temperature it is now. It won't look nearly as nice. We won't have the beautiful city of San Diego straight ahead of me, but it'll be better than what I left. When I left the Hudson, it was uh, like 20-some degrees, and I was away for a good week because it got really cold. It was down in the teens, I heard, and a little more snow. So I guess I'm kind of ready to go back because I know I'll be back here in a little bit. I'm certainly not gonna miss the rental car we've been in. It's a, I don't even know what year it is. It's a Nissan Altima with a four cylinder. And that thing goes about as quickly as my bicycle goes. I think it's got the same torque, um, which isn't so great for a 3,000 pound car. So we're gonna turn that in tomorrow. It hurts, get to the airport around noon, get up, have our breakfast, do the last packing, bathroom stuff, whatnot. So I'm gonna head in, take a shower, get the suitcase put together, and uh, head back home tomorrow. Only bad thing is I'm going to walk into a house full of Christmas decorations. I don't want to see that. So, within my first 48 hours of being home, my goal is to get the house back to the way it looks in the summer. I want all that Christmas crap put away, organized well, put away, and done with. So we'll do that soon. Anyways, I've been walking around the hotel for like 5 minutes, 10 minutes now, talking to the camera, and people think it's weird. So, that's going to be it for today. Thanks to everybody who made this possible. Grandparents, Dad, it was an amazing time. And uh, I can't wait to be back. So um, that's going to be it for today. I think today's day 756 or 757. Again, amazing time here in California. I can't wait to be back. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on the way to the airport, departing San Diego for Dallas and then Dallas to Cleveland. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night.